I, I have a, a, a comment, not a question. I just w would like to um, say something to you that um, as a um, criminal defense lawyer, as a, a professor uh, who teaches criminal law and constitutional law, um, I have reminded my students um, repeatedly that the true heroes of, of what has happened in the kind of abuse of law in, uh, under, under the Bush administration are military JAG lawyers. Uh, and I just want to thank you uh, and, and all of the JAG lawyers here for really standing up for the Constitution at a time when our political leaders would not. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Um, David, I also want to echo what Michael just said, um, and uh, best wishes on the 5th of January. I, did the judge say anything specific about the fact that uh, Jawad was a child at the time that he was detained? I mean, that for me is the, the clearest, under international law, he cannot be a combatant if he is under 18. So how can it be held as, an, as a combatant, mm -hmm. unlawful or lawful? Well, one of the many um, motions to dismiss that I filed was based on his status as a juvenile. Um, the government's position was that because there was no specified age limit under the Military Commissions Act, that therefore anyone could be tried. My position was that this under the optional protocol of the, for the involvement of children in armed conflict and other law that, that uh, we do not treat juveniles as war criminals to the extent that a juvenile could be tried at all for war crimes, it would have to be in a legal regime that um, was designed for rehabilitation and reintegration purposes. And there is no uh, rehabilitation and reintegration in the Military Commissions Act. Um, so those arguments uh, failed. The judge found that, uh, you know, interestingly, there is no mention in the entire legislative history of the Military Commissions Act of the words juvenile, minor, child soldier. Yet, in the complete absence of any evidence of intent to try juveniles, um, the commission and the prosecution have found a clear uh, intention to try juveniles and uh, that that is a very problematic aspect of this uh, of the military commissions any other questions yeah. I'm about to be cut off now I, I'm the moderator of the next panel so I think I can talk a little bit more yeah go ahead <laughs> one more question Right. Well, but how many in total are being held? According to the government, there's only two left, and that's Omar Khadr, the Canadian uh, who has also been charged, uh, and my client, Mohammed Jawad. There were some juveniles who were given rehabilitation and reintegration and then released, um, but they drew an arbitrary kind of line at, at, at 14 and uh, Cotter, who was 15, and my client, who was 16 or maybe 17, did not get that uh, that treatment. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back. I know. Thank you so much for your. My pleasure.